Ladies and gentlemen, Isekai has finally peaked. Reborn as a vending machine, episode 1 has arrived, and it is, without a doubt, the strangest Isekai I have seen. And I knew it would be special, because the title was honestly something different. And we gotta admit, even if we are Isekai trash, we know that a lot of it is pretty mediocre, but it's like junk food, we just can't help ourselves, even though we know the healthy meals are better for us. But out of all the Isekai, I have to admit this is the most unique I've seen in years, because not only do they meme the hell out of Truck-kun, truck being the reason someone gets killed is a pretty common trope in Isekai, but the fact that as he's dying he gets hit by the vending machine that comes off the truck, and then when he wakes up in the new world he is a vending machine, is such a silly premise in of itself, but the idea that rather than just simply being a vending machine and going about the story like nothing's happened, no, he's literally a vending machine. He has to sell a certain amount in order to be able to have enough points to fuel himself or he'll die. And the idea of going to a fantasy world that guarantee the food doesn't taste anything close to vending machine food, which you might want to say, well, that's a good thing. But think about it, the plain stews and just the lack of flavors that they must have. Opening up a can of Pringles or some cup ramen is going to taste like five-star cuisine. This is actually a pretty hilariously interesting show, and I unironically want more of it. Full live reaction to episode 1 of Reborn as a Vending Machine. I Wander the Dungeon Alone, I think is the title, the full title, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying. It's available on the Patreon if you would like to see my full and cut thoughts as I laugh my way throughout this first episode. I legit unironically love this first episode. I was getting excited seeing the new wares that he was going to sell because he starts off with some corn soup some milk, and some bottled water. And when he upgrades to Pringles or cups, soups, or ramens, I mean, I'm kind of excited. I'm like, oh man, I wonder what they'll think of this one. And I mean, despite his very high prices, I mean, pretty much any fantasy world has a universal currency, like a bronze coin, a silver coin, a gold coin, and he's charging a silver coin, which makes sense. I mean, he does have to keep his, his points up, all things considered, but just the concept is so absurd that it just makes me hopeful that we can see more ridiculous ideas like this. And I looked it up. This light novel that it's based off of has three light novels, and it's been on hiatus since like 2017. Now, I'm not sure if that's just because the author ran out of ideas, which honestly is going to be my headcanon and no one's going to convince me otherwise. I just kind of look at an idea like this, where if you've seen or read enough of these types of stories, you could probably make a few light novels that are um, almost like a parody, but then do something interesting with such a silly premise, but then you write yourself into a corner and have no idea where to take it. Also just be that the author went and did things that they like more. But honestly, looking at this premise, I honestly think one season is all you need of a show like this. Just one season, enjoy it, and honestly, move on with your life. And this was an actually really enjoyable episode. The production was solid, which, honestly, I'm going to be surprised if the production dips this season, because one of your characters, the only animation you need to do is some facial designs, which aren't even really animated, they're mostly just static shots. And the characters, the goblins, the world, it looks pretty normal, it's not anything extraordinary, but do I think this one's going to dip visually? Probably not. I think this is going to be a fairly consistent show, and honestly, this show picks up once literally our girl picks up the vending machine. I mean, talk about Death Stranding the anime when she's carrying that fool on her back. I mean, girl got some muscles, I gotta admit. I mean, her tatas were like popping out of that hardly visible top. I thought she was going to be more of a fan service character. Turns out she can pack a meat punch even if she can't connect said punch to uh, the baddies. But once you get to the town, I love just seeing it. It's, it's the little things. Like, imagine going to, like, ancient Egypt with a smartphone that works. Like, it still was connected to our own Wi-Fi and stuff in this current day-to-day -day life. Just the idea of really doing something so simple, so funny, because Reborn as a Vending Machine is gonna make you laugh or at least raise an eyebrow. But it's unironically fun to watch him, like, figure out ways to sell or to keep the business going lower the prices a bit but need to make sure you get some new wares and just seeing people who don't really have the type of flavors we do which obviously a lot of our food are packed full of preservatives and very bad things but you can't deny that a lot of that does make it rather tasty but yes it's not the greatest food in our own world Go back in time when there was hardly any flavors or a lot of the current culinary experiences, a can of Pringles is probably going to taste like royalty level meals. And I like the idea of the common folk just experiencing the most basic 
tea, like melt teas or bubble teas or some soups in a can and being like, how the hell do we open this? At first I thought they needed a can opener and I was gonna be like, damn vending machine, you screwed them. But no, it's just like a pull tab, right? Stuff they just, it's foreign to them. And honestly, I leave this first episode looking at the future of where anime can go now because we have reborn as a vending machine. Where do you truly go to make it crazier? And I say, think about this. You know how we have Isekai Quartet with all of those Isekai protagonists all in this little chibi environment? What if we made an Isekai Quartet, but with appliances? And you may be saying, Brandon, that's too extreme. But I say, no, no, no. This is just a start. Give me Reborn as the washing machine. I now wash my childhood friend's clothes. Give me the kitchen fridge. Give me all of these ridiculous appliances and throw them in an isekai quartet setting and tell me that wouldn't be, at the very least, one episode worth of laughs. Just saying, anime studios, I know sometimes you scrape the bottom of the barrel, but trust me, the bottom of the barrel still has far more to go if you ask me. This shit was wild, man. It was fun. It really was. I think it's silly as hell. I thought it wore its heart on its sleeve. It knew it was goofy. Dude was riding behind a truck that had a vending machine that was being transported, which that's fine, that's normal, whatever, obviously was not handled well strap-wise, but the idea of it hitting him, falling off a cliff, and waking up as a vending machine is one of the stupidest ways to start a show like this, and it immediately sets the tone of the Looney Tune level adventure we're going to have. And watching him talk to himself about the, uh, the points and just, I mean, obviously I'm excited to see like maybe if he can upgrade to a voice, is he going to get some self-defense? Like, is he going to have a turret at some point to guard the merchandise? I don't know, but it's pretty damn fun. And honestly, it had a lot more thought put into it than I thought with a title like this. And honestly, it kind of feels like a sim situation where I'm just kind of enjoying watching his new life take hold. And I have no idea where you take this. But like I say, three light novels or one anime season seems like the appropriate amount of time for a premise like this so it doesn't grow boring and stale but enough to say damn it man isekai may have gone too far but i but i hope it never changes i hope they just keep on being dumb as shit because i'm having a blast i think my favorite thing about this show is every time i tell people about it and i just say the title they look at me with one of two reactions of either A, are you serious, or two, you have to be joking. And I love the fact that this show is going to be talked about, whether people love it or hate it, this show, it's titled. Now, I know we meme on light novel titles being ridiculous, but this light novel title, it got us talking. And honestly, I'm excited to watch more. I really am. This is actually going to be a blast. And uh, honestly, anime of the season at this point, just for its originality, despite being so goddamn stupid. Thoughts and feelings yourself down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new around here. Of course, ring that bell so you can get notified when I upload more videos on the channel. And like I mentioned, full live reaction to this and all these episodes will be available on my Patreon if you're interested. And while you're there, you can also get a video shout out. So today we have Mono Liz, Yui, Mr. Crisp, and T-Rit Songsu. So I appreciate the support, everyone. Please take care and have a good one.